Okay. Well, Rested and Ray to Wall. Orc Pain Boys is the subject this time. Starting with all of green, 09035. Yeah, sorry, couldn't help myself on that wall joke. Inside humor. Alright. Though, quite frankly, if you're watching this video, you probably get it. <laughs> And the teeth and these cybernetics on his head, I'll pick out later in another color. I'm not going to be too worried about it by this second. That was unfortunate. I'm sure to get a nice even coat on his head and his sinister looking smile. Here. I just gotta keep the brush moist, not overly wet though. It's a little hard to tell what's supposed to be flesh and what isn't back here with all the stuff going on detail-wise. Pain boys are the orc medics. Orc physiology is so robust that one can even survive decapitation if its head is stapled, literally stapled back on within a few minutes. And said orc would be Disoriented, but otherwise good to go. Many pain boys also have a habit of adding unnecessary cybernetics to their patients just because they feel like it. And in current 8th edition, it's equipped with a power claw and an erty syringe. And has the very, well, nice for the orcs, nasty for non-orcs ability of allowing friendlies within a set range a chance to ignore wounds based on a dice roll. Giving you boys even more of a chance to get into close combat. They can really give somebody a bad day. Okay, and yeah, it looks like the early syringe is kind of strapped on while the power claw looks to be cybernetic in its entirety. And using 090118, we're going to paint up the Grot Orderly on his back. Based on current rules, I think the Grot Orderly is supposed to be a separate model at this point. And again, that's current 8th edition rules, but when this model was released, that wasn't necessarily the case. And this is a permanent fixture of the model. You can't actually assemble it too well without putting the orderly on back, but we're going to give him a different shade of green. My paints might be a little too watered down. Don't worry about the teeth, this little 
monster has a big grin on his face. A nice sinister looking smile. I get a nice even coat here. This paint is maybe a bit too thin. Maybe I didn't mix it well enough. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a bit before I move on to the rest. Okay, the flesh tones have had time to dry, and we're going to go with 09056 Templar Blue. That might be enough. Just get their pants here. You know, one of them's wearing a shirt. Just trying to decide what color to do next. I'm uh, gonna go with 09062 leather white. That was gonna be a little tricky since it's gonna be adjacent to a color that's still wet. This is just gonna go on his apron. I don't know how this went in countries outside the U.S., but originally hospital smocks were white, but eventually changed to a dark green, especially in surgical wards, because blood stands out on white better and was more shocking to patients and, well, less, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, beneficial to their mental health, while blood on the green now used is less obvious. Right. Not sure exactly when that change happened, but I want to say I think I think around World War II or the 1950s they started to gradually shift, and now that uh, muted green is the standard. Not that this bloke's an orc; he's not going to care. It's a little tricky. 
tricky just because he's got all this brick of brack on him as well. I'm wanting to get just the apron as much as is possible anyway without hitting anything else. The angle of the head makes that a little tricky right through here. But And that's all straps. Go ahead and do that. Lighten that. Okay, I'll go ahead and do some bandages. This guy's giving himself an IV of something. I'm guessing it's not Ringer's lactate. Probably more along the lines of Doc sniffing his own anesthetic. It makes no sense with the orcs anyway. Let's see, and then the Gretchen's got a little something on its wrist. Go ahead and do that in the white as well. It's not necessarily a bandage, but eh. Well, Alright, that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and let that dry and move on. This is not the best balanced model. <laughs> Alright, did a few touch ups off camera. Now, 09110 oiled leather. Yeah, I'll say it again, this model is terribly balanced because of that big honking power claw. This is going to provide some challenges when I eventually get them on the tabletop. So we're going to start with the Grotz belt. And hit the Doctor's belt. Although I suppose a pain boy, though, innately medics are about as much a uh, doctors as Dr. Pepper is or Dr. Seuss. But I suppose I would have quite a bit in common with Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. I'm going to use this on these straps and stuff together. And some of these I might redo in a different color. And orcs do sometimes bolt their equipment or just nail their armor straight into their flesh. So we get this little rope holding this big meat hook looking tool here. Just, you know, there's a strap on this nasty looking bone saw. This one goes off the apron around to the side where it tucks under a hose going into his pants apparently. I Oh, there is so much I could say. The possibility is that so much I'd rather not say. Okay. 
gonna go ahead and use this on the straps on this early syringe. Then his one boot. He's got one wicked looking peg leg for a left. Nick to the white here. Just gonna dilute that and blot out real quick for it. Rise. And there's a quick fix. Just make sure to touch up the area I actually want in this leather color. It's a difficult model to hold just because of all the pointy bits. Let's see here. Well, I think I can go ahead and take, where is it? There it is, Shield Brown 09161. I'm going to do some handles on some of these tools. I would say, based on some of the tools of his trade, a pain boy's office would kind of blur the line between a surgical ward and a chop shop. Let's see, I'll go ahead and do this. Almost looks like an air compressor. part of one of those uh, breathing apparatuses at a hospital. I don't know what the technical name for that would be though. Take 09026 violet red and do some of the cables in that. Because who knows what's pumping into it? Who knows what's pumping through these?
being real careful so I don't nick some of the other stuff I've done already. I wouldn't worry about that beeping you may have heard that was somebody's car alarm going off. I'm actually in a really safe neighborhood so I don't need to worry much at all about anything like that. Or any of the activities you normally associate an alarm with. And I see I missed a big chunk of the shoulder here somehow. Let's see if I can't touch that up real quick. Just while I see it. And this happens sometimes when you work on a model, especially if you've had it sit around for a while and haven't really done anything with it. Or you just forget details or miss stuff. Okay. I'm trying to focus on the tubes and wires coming out of his body first. One going down his shorts. I have no idea what he would want to pump down there. I don't think orcs have genitals. It's based off uh, the actual fiction that they reproduce via spores released when they die. Carefully around the orderly's ear. wires based on where these are going these look like they're meant more for a fluid than so hoses as opposed to wires I guess Based on the positioning, it looks like they meant more for fluid than uh, electricity. And that's got him. I saw one more bit I want to do with the leather I missed, and that's this going under the chin here. There's another wire here. Or hose, I guess. This is going right into the bicep there, not even bandaged up like the uh, other one is. Okay, now we'll go ahead and let that dry before moving on to the metal bits okay gonna try an experiment now gonna try a color combination ah. getting a little tongue-tied gonna try a color combination I've never tried before on part of its power claw here and maybe part of its backpack 09102 coppery orange
so we're just going to do this on part of his claw. This is an experiment. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Well, I suppose that's somewhat inaccurate. I have a rough idea of what this is going to look like. But I won't know, not for certain anyway, until all is said and done. Get this mostly on the working parts of the knuckle here. It's part of the thumb. Let's see. Go up here and stop getting the digits. Gonna stop short of the actual tool portions. But I am doing multiple colors on this for visual interest. Go ahead and go all the way up here on that finger. Right. Suppose this style of power claw looks kind of like if you took Freddy Krueger's glove and mixed it with a salad shooter. <laughs> Then go ahead and put it on this breathing apparatus part. Or at least that's the closest thing I can equate it to. I don't think I'll put it on this pump here. And uh, I think uh, actually Go ahead and do these weights here. Those blades in the same color. They look like they're just ornamental. And orcs do love their teeth. So why wouldn't they? Moderately successful pain boy have a few metal teeth hanging off his kit. Right. Let's see. I uh, think I'll call that good for now. Let that dry and then do another color in a minute. Okay, 09197, Old Bronze. Is that one with a really faded label? I can't read too well. few selected details. The generator for this circular saw blade on the index finger here. Or my finger the wrong finger. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And we'll do part of the syringe here. Eh, we can do that joint. Why not? That's fine. And that. Using this to selectively pick out a few details. Going on the mostly armored plates here, covering up the finer mechanisms on this claw. And thus far I'm counting two exhaust pipes on this one. this on the handle and operational mechanism for this drill. Get most of the rest of this backpack so for all we know this could be bolted directly to his back and given how orc tech generally seems to go it probably is real careful on some of these details, trying not to hit anything else I've already done. Go ahead and get the Gretchen orderly syringe. Release everything but the actual needle for it. Stir on his shoulder. And what else? There's another metal loop here. I want to do the optics in different color overall, but I will do this wider in the brass. Go ahead and do a big part of the frame on its early syringe here as well.
I may redo that container here. Another color. Let's do this for now, I suppose. And then buckles here. And then part of his peg leg here. Just part, not all of it. The way it's articulated with this hydraulic here, it almost looks like it's supposed to move like a pair of scissors. So that would make sense. And 09206 tarnished steel. blade on this saw. And then the bit on the drill. that, get the needle portion of the syringe, and I will pick that little drip fluid out in another color in a minute. optics here the lower leg here in this because this really does look like it's a pair of scissors. You can see a seam there and a joint. Missed a bit of the back there. The rest of this And the needles on these fingers. And 
Okay, let's see here. There it is, 09143 yellowed bone. Not a whole lot of this. Doc himself isn't showing a whole lot of teeth. I count just one, actually. So what really though is a big old grin. Then 09039 pure white. Go ahead and dab this into the optics. Then carefully going over these syringes here. as well. Again, trying to avoid nicking stuff I've already painted. Okay. Cat's okay, ear. And I think this cylinder on the pretty syringe here will be a container of some ambiguous and probably horrible fluid. Go ahead and get the ends here. two little canisters here which, which I interpret as being filled with more horrible fluid that may or may not be beneficial to the patients okay I think that's everything I'm just gonna double check one more time uh, Okay, that looks like base coats to me. Let it all dry completely and start on shading. Oh, wait. Did miss a bit. A drop coming out of that syringe. So if you don't know, whenever you see a doctor getting a shot ready for an intravenous injection, the reason they will squirt out a little fluid is to make sure there aren't any air bubbles in it because if that gets if an air bubble gets injected and gets your heart that is instant heart attack though I doubt an orc would care about that okay that, now that's what it says.
Okay, shading time. 09196, aged pewter. Yeah, that's clogged. Bit more. Just making sure I don't miss anything. Trying to get the excess paint out of that gap there. There we go. Probably put another color in those vents, make it look like they're glowing.
very good. Um, yeah, I better hold off. That bronze touches so many other colors. Just hold off a minute. I'll come back. All right, zero nine two zero five black and steel. You gotta wonder what kind of doctor carries a meat hook around. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Got a little slightly odd sense of humor. Early syringe. And these blades on his power claw. Anyway, zero nine one zero one ruby red. Yeah, it should be enough. see how this turns out. This is completely experimental for me. Yes, I am where my chair sounds like it could use a can of WD-40. Mm -hmm. 
If you're wondering what those loud clangs you may or may not be hearing are, there's a new apartment building coming up next door to me. So, nothing more than that. Just means I'm going to have a bunch of new neighbors soon. These metal teeth on his hose here. We'll just see how this has turned out when I'm finished. This is all an experiment. And this is a, as good a model as any do experiment on. Let's see. Okay. I think I can get the brown too. So we'll take 09109 uh, ruddy leather. Should be enough. Start on the Gretchen's belt. Just like that. Get the straps holding his dirty syringe to his arm. Or excuse me, dirty. <laughs> Work literacy and all that. Build the holster for that drill. And all these straps, buckles. Let's see, I want to make sure I haven't missed anything before I move on to that boot. Looks okay. Bit of a risk, but I think I can get the wood handles on those tools as well with wood stain brown 09160. This one's almost cashed, but I've got a backup on hand if I need it. That should be more than enough. It's just two little handles. One on the meat hook. And one on the bone saw. And that's flat out very a bit. Okay, that's good. Let that dry and see what else we can get. Okay. Zero nine zero two five burgundy wine. That should be plenty. <coughs> mm, 
excuse me. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, all right. Looks good. I get these two hoses on this range. Then Brayon Blue 09055. Go ahead and get their pants shaded. to let that dry before I move on to the white, but it's just that, and the two flesh tones and the teeth. Uh, I can probably go ahead and do the teeth now and be okay. Stained Ivory 09142. And that tiny dot should be plenty. Well, it would be if I hadn't forgotten to clean out the brush. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe I need a nap before I do much more. Okay, that's better. Panboy himself just has one sharp pointy tooth showing. Now well, his orally has a full, healthy and sinister grin that would put the Joker to shame. And while I don't particularly like that it got into the crevice there, that'll come out very easily when I do the shading on the flesh tone there. So let that dry and move on to the last bit of clothing, the white. 
All right. Zero nine zero six one linen white. Because of what's touching where, it's going to be two more takes after this one to get the shading finished. Just really carefully going to dab that in. Get it around. Try to avoid getting it on other things. But it'll be okay if it does. If I kept the model in view of the camera. Okay, that's all of that. Once that's dry, we can move on to the other skin tone. Okay, pine green. Zero nine one. Oh, wait a minute. Zero nine zero one zero. <laughs> okay. Maybe I really do need to take a nap. Which should be more than enough to get the Gretchen riding on his back. It's going to be a little tricky around the face because I don't want to get the teeth. And a little bit beneath the nose, that's got it. Okay. I think I can go ahead and get the paintable himself. So, 09034 Muddy Olive. Start on his hand.
gonna get his head and neck last. With the dark green on the Gretchen has time to dry. Making sure some of this gets into the lip to cover up the ivory from earlier when I did the tooth. work out okay. And with that paint flow down into that gap. And that's got it pretty good. Well, got some on the drill here. Take a towel, blot that out. That's got it. And if it looks a little messy when I do the highlight, well, it works aren't that great about keeping their stuff clean anyway, so. I just realized I missed a bit of the brown. I'll have to touch that up right here now, wood stain brown. Don't need a lot. So I just realized I forgot to do this part. Get that in there. Down the other side. Okay, that's got it. Now, once that's all dry, highlight in detail. Actually, because I think I'm losing my mind, I can do the canisters. Okay, we'll use emerald green for that. 09103. This is another metallic. I'm going to use this for the ambiguous fluids pumping around these tubes. And the emerald green, because according to the orcs, green is the best color. Thinned out. Start by putting it on the drop coming out of the syringe here. This might be thin out a bit too much. But I'm just gonna roll with another. And so that green got onto the white. Again, this happens sometimes. Just don't worry about it too much. Just deal with it. A lot of it's pretty easy to fix. Question if this was supposed to be some kind of optic, but it's not sure. Get a little cancerous at the bottom. Having a lot of trouble with this joint right here. Okay. Right, we'll just take a little more of the paint then. And not adding any more water. Mix it up a little more. Now 
Alright, that's better. I had it too wet the first time. Let's go ahead and make sure that gets in there. On the drop. Alright, once that dries, I can finish up. Well, I keep leaving things, I keep seeing things and forgetting to do the first time. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm going to take that ruby red again, 09101. Tiny dot. And this is going in the optics. Giving them a sinister red glow on those lenses. Okay. Did I miss anything else this time? No. Okay. Letting it dry, moving on. <laughs> okay. 09039, pure white. Just a tiny dot of this. gonna go in the eyes. This is gonna be more lighten them up though. I'm trying to find a decent angle on this. Not somewhere in that works in Warhammer 40,000 have universally red eyes, like all red, doing that to lighten them up. I'm going to take 09003 blood red. Tiny dot of that. Carefully fill that in again. Doing this now because once I actually start the highlights, they'll cover up what's getting outside the boundary here. I will put in a pupil, but I'll be a minute. So, Pale Olive 09036. Sounds like someone's gun on a motorcycle outside.
making sure this is nice and dry for the next coat. And that's going to be 09012 pale green. And it's going to be the highlight for the Gretchen hanging out on his back. Oh. Okay, sorry about that little interruption there. Just getting a few things for tomorrow finalized. Okay. Dry brushing the Gretchen. Also, I'm going to try dry brushing fluid with this. Yeah, kind of going for a reanimator look there. Okay, it's not so bad at all. And zero nine one four four creamy ivory. I'm using a smaller brush. This is just going on their teeth. Zero nine zero six three ghost white is next. I see a bit of green that got on the white that I didn't catch in time. Just a little pure light. The apron there with a the green hit it. Okay. And go ahead and do the pants next with ash and blue zero nine zero five seven.
uh, probably the cables next. So zero nine zero two seven pale violet red. Trying to be methodical and make certain I don't miss anything. Okay. Then we'll see how my experiment works out. Zero nine one zero zero pearl white. a metallic white. I'm gonna see what this looks like. Not too bad, actually. I have to remember this combination for later. So I'll call that experiment a success. I wasn't sure what the combination of the uh, orange, red, and white would do, but it's not too bad at all. Okay, Driftwood Brown, 09162. It's just going on the handles of the hook and the bone saw here. Again, the bone saw makes sense. The hook, I'm sure it would only make sense to an orc. Okay, go ahead and uh, 09198 tarnished brass.
And the wind's picking up again. I may have to interrupt for a second here to shut a window. Just realized I forgot the pump again. Well, not too late to fix it. Just go ahead and real quick finish with this color. Okay. So we'll just take that driftwood brown again and do that. All right, what am I forgetting? Oh, the leather, I suppose. 09111 burnt orange. Again, making sure the brush is dry. And I forgot if the, if these rings, when I did the bronze, we'll just take a second and take care of that real quick. And I want to bang my head on the table in frustration because I realized I forgot the boot. The biggest piece of leather he's wearing. I'm getting very forgetful in this video. True Silver 09207. Tools with a drill bit, this odd scissor peg leg. Because again, it looks like it's hinged right here like a pair of scissors, and it actually looks sharp on the inside. Okay. Syringe. Get the optics. That needle. Top of this tank here. We 
making sure I got the steel on every other part of the mall before I hit the claw. Looks like I'm good. Making sure I got everything before I wrap it up. I think I did. Now, before I take pure black and do the pupils and the base, I'm going to take the blood red again. Again, I generally keep gore effects to a minimum. Model, model either has to have something, some visible gore on it, or has to be a particularly brutal individual. And in this case, I feel the whatever applies. So, now I will do this one. Taking blood red again, taking a dry brush, and I think it's going to get a little messy. Well, that didn't work like it did last time. What I did was get my finger red. Okay, I'll try getting it a little wetter and try again. This method, usually, when it works, there we go, is great for quickly getting blood spatter on something like this, and that is sufficient. Who knows what this guy was operating on? Could have been an orc, could have been uh, something else. Again, doing the gore effect because it's appropriate for the model being essentially a psychotic quack of an orc doctor. So, finishing up with 09037 Pure Black. So to elaborate on that technique, you're holding the brush, keeping it very dry, you want something pretty stiff, and just doing that once you got your paint in. It was a little awkward the way I was doing it, but you needed to see it. Taking a tiny brush, to start with anyway. Dabbing in a pupil. Uh, this pain boy is admiring the gore on his claw from whatever he did. This is a little minion. Stirring maniacally ahead. Going around the edge of the base. Paint didn't stray too much on this one, but doing it anyway. Cleaning that out. And once that dries, we'll go ahead and add some talus to it. Okay, basing. So once again, mixing up that same glue solution with Elmer's glue all in a lot of water.
and get the rock opened up. Yeah, that container has seen better days, but I try to reuse things as much as I'm able to. Carefully painting around the feet, including the scissor foot. Dipped in the towels. Brushing away where we don't want it. And let that dry for a bit before sealing it. Time to seal. Scenic cement again. Little scenic thing. I'm sure there's other stuff. It'll work too. But since I found something that works right away, there's no sense in switching unless this is discontinued. And just enough to get it wet. And that's it. An orc pain boy. Got one more Warhammer 40,000 model to do, and I'll switch to Malifaux for a few videos.